To get the most accurate contour cutting, you will need to calibrate your machine. First, we will open the vinyl spooler. Then, select the Arms Offset button. We have the choice of either printing the calibration sheet or saving it as a PDF file. In this example, we will simply print it directly to our printer. It is important to make sure it is printed at actual size. When you load the sheet, it is very important that it is nice and flat. When the media lifts or buckles, the scanned position of the marks is distorted, resulting in loss of accuracy. If the media is not perfectly flat, lift the rollers and push the media down and hold it flat while re-engaging the rollers. Load the calibration sheet into the cutter so that the mark indicated by the arrow is in the front right corner. Then you will need to position the laser in the corner of this mark, ready to begin the test. When the sheet is loaded and ready to cut, you are ready to perform the calibration test. The cutter will detect the marks and then draw several reference lines. If the test is printed on normal paper, make sure you change from the blade to the pen tool. Now that we have performed the calibration test, we need to determine the correct adjustment values. You will notice that there are several scales on this chart. There are coarse scales for large adjustments, like a normal ruler. And there are also fine scales for very accurate calibration. You will also notice that each scale is for either the X axis or the Y axis, and it is important not to get these mixed up. First, let's take a look at the fine adjustment scale for the Y axis, which, as shown on the chart, corresponds to the cutter's left and right direction. We need to select the value where the test line passes through the centre. In this case, 0.8 is the nearest value. It may be helpful to use a magnifying glass for greater accuracy. Also take note that some values are negative, while those on the other side are positive. Remember this when recording the values. Okay, so now we've determined that the Y scale adjustment value is plus 0.8, we record this value and move on to the X scale. In this case, 0.1 appears to be the value we need to adjust. We are now ready to enter the values we measured off the chart. Remember to enter the X and Y values in the correct boxes. The cutter has now been calibrated. If you want to check that it has been calibrated accurately, you can perform the calibration test again. The adjustment values should both be zero, indicating it needs no further calibration. 